So uh, modes of addressing. Modes of addressing means while you are programming assembly language, you are writing assembly language program or you are writing low level language programs, how we can access the computer's memory. What is computer's memory? RAM. I told you that whenever we talk about memory, we are talking actually about the RAM, RAM, random access memory. And whenever we are talking about storage, we are talking about those uh, memories which can hold data even when the computer is switched off. All right, so memory means RAM. So mostly we are not concerned about storage in this particular topic, processor fundamentals. All we are concerned is with RAM. So this is actually a way to access computer's memory and there are certain modes. So there are different commands. There are different low level commands. So we need to use these commands to access data from the memory. Remember, you have to think this way that there is a command which is being executed in the microprocessor. That command while being executed requires some data from the memory. So what are the ways, what are the modes we can use to access that data from computer's memory while the command is being executed? So the first one is direct. Direct direct addressing all right so <clears throat> direct addressing basically what happens let's say you have got this memory there are three memory addresses 50 51 and 52 at 50 we have got 8 at 51 we have got 9 and 52 we have got 15 so this is actually address, this is actually data placed at that address, there is no instruction, just the data. So direct addressing mode requires you to write a command which is called LDD. What do you call that command? LDD. LDD. LDD means load direct. load direct from the given address and the example of this is actually LDD 51 so this command has got two parts first one is LDD and the second, second one is the address all right so LDD says load direct from the address 51 Okay, load direct from the address 51. So this 51 is actually the address of memory. So what will happen? Let's say I've got accumulator. This is accumulator. What do I get in accumulator when executing this LDD 51? I will have 9 in the accumulator. So this is very simple. That this command which says LDD 51 means load direct from the address 51 and whatever in the address 51 at the address 51 will be loaded to the accumulator. All right. So this is the first command. Second one is indirect. Indirect address. Indirect addressing is a different command. It is L D I. L D I means load indirect. Load indirect. All right. So basically, let's say again. I've got this memory. And there are addresses in this memory, let's say 65, 66, and 67. At address 65, I have got 67 placed. Then I have got 8. Then I have got Let's say three. Indirect means that the data which is required is not actually at the given address. 
the data which is required is not actually at the given address but the address of the data is placed in the given address let's say i execute this command lpi 65 system will go to 65 x65 it will see that the address is 67 the data is 67 this but this is not the data which is required this is indirect so system will now go to this particular address 67 and find the data so what is the difference between the direct and indirect direct whatever the address that is there the data is present at that address so if it is ldd 51 go to 51 take the data place it in place it in accumulator whereas in indirect addressing mode what happens that the address that is given in the command is actually not the data's address but it is actually the address of the address of data this just goes one time this doesn't go on and on and on this is just one time so at 65 we will find the actual address of the data so we will see 67 then we will go to 67 and in accumulator we will have three so get the idea this ldi is basically indirect so whatever the address that is pointed is actually the address of the address of the data So at 65, this is 67. So we go at 67, and then the data is found, and that data is brought to accumulator. Remember, whenever the data is uh, fetched from the memory, it is always placed in the accumulator. Now you might say that, sir, what is the need for having this indirect address when we can directly write 67 and we can fetch three like in LDD? So there is a reason behind it. So basically, what happens? Let's say last time when we were discussing uh, uh, the bus width. I told you that bus width is a factor which actually impacts the performance of the system because if we like to use more memory we have to have enough number of wires in the bus to access that memory let's say the bus width is 3 word size or the bus width of a particular computer is actually 3 bus width or the word size what is the word size the number of wires in a bus okay which bus the data bus and address bus so how many addresses this computer can access that is 2 to the power 3 it can access eight addresses from address number 0 to address number 7 all right so if we have got bus width 32 means that we can access as many as 2 to the power 32 which is actually 4 gb 4 gigabyte of ram all right so from 0 to 4 gb so what is the word size the amount of data a computer can process produces consumes the amount of memory a processor can access all right So now what basically happens let's say we have got bus width of 32 so it means when we write a single statement of uh, assembly language a sing single instruction of the assembly language that instruction is in binary form all right everything in low level language i told you that assembly language is actually the low level language whatever that you write is basically with the help of assembler converted to its binary form so basically let's say if i write a command ldi 65 ldi 65 this ldi is basically called op code operation code and this 65 is actually called operand All right. What do we call the 65 operand? Now, basically, what happens? Uh, let's say, we are example taking example here, 32 bit system. Okay. All right. So, in 32 bit systems, what happens? 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 In 32 b
in this LDI 65, this LDI is upcode and this 65 is operand. Similarly, over here in this bus width, in this word size, we have got a 32 bit system word size. Okay, Achha, ab, kya hota hai? out of these 32, system allocates 20 bits for the opcode and 12 bits for the operand. Alright, so 20 bits for the opcode and 12 bits for the operand. This is a ratio of 5 to 3. A ratio of 5 to 3. Okay, this is a ratio of 5 to 3. Now, basically, that means that the maximum address a single instruction can access is basically maximum address that a single instruction can now access is 2 to power 12. Alright, so 2 to power 12 is basically 4K. 2 to power 12 is 4096 or 4K memory. Alright, and with the burst rate of 32, the maximum memory that you can access is this 4 GB. Maximum memory that you can access is 4 GB. But with a command, since operand is only holding 12 bits, you cannot go beyond 4K. So, there comes the help from LDI. Okay, let's try to understand Basically, what happened? One computer word size is 32 bits. You might have heard of this thing, that we have 32 bits system and we have 64 bits system. So, basically, this 32 and 64 means that the system is running the buses. It's 32 bits or 64 bits. The system is running the instructions in the system. Data bus pe, wo 32 bits hai, 64 bits hai. memory mein ek address pe jo data rakha hua hai, wo 32 bits ka hai, ya 64 bits ka hai. Ya processor mein ek wakt mein jo data catch ho sakta hai, wo 32 bits ka hai, ya 64 bits ka hai. So let's say if it is one instruction, we know that at one particular location in the memory, either we have one instruction or the data. So one location of the memory is let's say of 32 bits. And if it is data, complete 32 bits are accessible but if it is one instruction then that instruction is divided into two parts the opcode and the operand this opcode is also known as mnemonic these are the commands of assembly language m n e m o n i c this m is silent mnemonic all right and this operand is also called address part What do we call it? Address part. A double D R D double S P A R T. Address part. So mnemonic and address part. There are two types of instructions if you look at them apparently. Either they are just the opcodes and there is no operand, or they are having both opcode and operand. In any of the cases, every instruction is divided into two parts opcode and operand. Operand is address part. So the maximum address that you can access is basically 12 bits. So first 20 bits will be taken by the command itself, the mnemonic or the opcode and later 12 bits are for the address part. So <clears throat> let's say the maximum address that you can access is 2 to power 12. If we depict it, so let's say that we have our main memory. Hai. Indirect addressing. Let's say our main memory here. Or it's a main memory here. The size of this memory is actually 4 GB. Maximum size of this memory is 4 GB. Okay. I want the data from one of the address 
which is actually somewhere here. Okay, somewhere here. अब इस इसका let's say हम address ले लेते हैं let's say हम ले लेते हैं 3.2 GB आये इसका हम address ले लेते हैं 3.2 GB पे हमें data चाहिए data यहाँ पे रखा हुआ है let's say age हमें ये data चाहिए हमारे पास 32 bits का system है जो हमने command लिखी वो हमने लिखी LD अब हम LDB करते हैं तो देखें हमने अगर 3.2 GB लिखना है तो 3.2 GB के लिए हमारे पास 12 bits काफी नहीं है हमें 3.2 GB के लिए हमारे पास बहुत ज़्यादा बिट्स होने चाहिए, which are at least let's say 25 बिट्स। तो हमारे पास कितने बिट्स हैं? सिर्फ 12 बिट्स हैं। तो हम क्या करते हैं? हम लिखते हैं LDI। अच्छा LDI लिखने के बाद आपको जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि यहाँ पर आपकोड में आपने आपकोड के अंदर 20 बिट्स लिए। तो LDI जो है वो आपके पास आ गया यहाँ पर LDI। आपके पास sorry ठीक है आपके पास यहाँ पर आ गया LDI और अब आपके पास कितने बिट्स बचे हैं LDI के बाद Hold on let me clean this up LDI और अब हमारे पास बचे हैं 12 बिट्स। अब 12 बिट्स के अंदर हम मैक्सिमम एड्रेस जो है वो ले सकते हैं 4096। तो हमारे पास ये आ गया 4096। फोर के एड्रेस। हमें एक्सेस करना है ये और हम सिर्फ एक्सेस कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर फोर के तक। तो बेसिकली क्या होता है कि हमारे पास जो फोर के एड्रेसेस हैं हम उसमें से किसी एक एड्रेस में एक्चुअल एड्रेस का एड्रेस सेव कर देते हैं। 4K के अंदर हम किसी एक्चुअल एड्रेस का एड्रेस सेव कर देते हैं। For example ये हमारे पास 4K एड्रेसेस हैं। Okay 4K एड्रेसेस हैं। हम इनको डायरेक्ट एक्सेस कर सकते हैं, लेकिन हम इस 3.2 GB के एड्रेस को एक्सेस नहीं कर सकते। तो हम क्या करेंगे? Let's say हमारे पास ये एड्रेस है 50, ये है 49. ये है 51 और ये चलते चलते हमारे पास 4096 तक एड्रेसेस हैं। तो लेट्स से हमने 51 के ऊपर, 51 के ऊपर यहाँ पे 3.2 GB रख दिया। तो क्योंकि 3.2 GB हम यहाँ पर आसानी से इसलिए रख सकते हैं कि हमारे पास पूरे 32 बिट्स अवेलेबल हैं। हमने यहाँ पे 3.2 GB रख दिया। हमने कैसे रख दिया 3.2 GB? क्योंकि हमारे पास पूरे 32 bits available हैं। क्योंकि उसमें data। जब हम इन 32 bits को किसी command के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं, तो basically we have to divide it into 20 and 12. But if it is just the data, we can use it for the data all 32 bits। अब 32 bits को हमने इस्तेमाल किया 32 bits के अंदर हमने जो actual address है वो save कर दिया। अब हम यहाँ पे लिखेंगे L D I 51। अब system जो होगा, वो L D I 51 से basically जाएगा 51 पे, 51 से देखेगा कि यहाँ पर हमारे पास 3.2 GB का address रखा हुआ है, वो 3.2 GB से जाएगा उस address पे और जो उस address पे data रखा हुआ है, वो accumulator में लेकर आ जाएगा, alright? So this is very simple. When we write a command, actually that command requires us to bifurcate the available number of bits. That bifurcation is between the opcode and the operand. The address actually goes in operand. The division is with respect to five to three ratio. So five goes for operand and three goes for opcode. So less number of bits opcode would not allow you to access complete memory locations, all of them, because all of them require lots of bits, which are more than 12 bits. So in that case, what basically happens that we point to one of the address which we can access directly and at that address, we place the address of actual data. LDI goes to that address, finds the address of actual data, reaches out to that particular address and brings in the data. So that is why we use LDI, indirect access. Okay, now we have got number three, immediate access. Immediate addressing. Immediate addressing means that we don't have any address. Rather, we have got the data. Just take that data. It's like 
uh, a variable is given a value, a constant, a constant value. So basically, the command is ldm. LDM means load immediate. Load immediate. Immediate means there is no address of the memory. All you have to do is to take this address and put it in uh, the accumulator. So let's say I write the command LDM, uh, let's say 7. Now to differentiate the constant from the address. Look, if you write 7, the system will take the address. Hai. So we will write the hash sign. Hash sign means that this is the value itself. This is no address, this is the value itself. So basically, you have an accumulator. Ke andar, ek minute, I'm going question. Lero. Question here is, so the modes uh, of addressing are basically how any computer architecture specifies the address data that they want to address to. Yes, exactly. Basically, this is a way of accessing addresses using assembly language. Okay. Alright. Now, this was immediate addressing. Sometimes we don't want to access data from the memory. Rather, we like system to uh, store the value that we are actually giving it. Let's say, we say x is equal to 5. I x can be 5. Rakdo. We can say that x is equal to y. means that y is equal to y. Ka data x or input x. The system input le, x. So, we can do that. 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 We can do We have got indexed. Indexed addressing. Indexed addressing is used uh, the way we use loops. If we like to access consecutive memory locations in one go, and we want to, let's say, have an operation of additions from address 50 to 59, we want to take data from every single address and we want to add it. So we can run a loop using indexed addressing. Okay. Now, indexed addressing is actually written as the opcode for indexed addressing is LDX. LDX. It uses index register. It uses index register. Index register or IX. The name of index register, we abbreviate it like IX. Okay, IX. So it uses index register. So basically what happens, let's say we have got this command LDX. First of all, let's say we have got this index register. We have got this index register. Index register has got four in it. Four. All right. So I write a command. LDX. So this is actually load. Indexed. All right. So let's say I write a command. LDX 50. Alright, so this 50 is called base address. Base address means where the whole thing will start. And this base address will be added to the content of the index register. The content of the index register is called offset. What do we call it? Offset. Offset. The result diagram, this would be the actual address, final address, which is 54. Okay, so what basically happens when we write this command load index ldx, we give a base address. And system keeps changing the content of index register. That content of the index register is added to the base address to find the final address to access the memory. Alright. So let's say I've got this memory. This 
is my main memory. So this is my RAM. So this is address 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Okay, and I have got these values placed in it. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is the data at these addresses. Let's say index register is 3. And I pass this statement or the instruction LDX 50. So, what accumulator would have? Okay, I'm going to write LDX 50. 50 plus 3 becomes 53. Okay, so 50 plus 3 becomes what? 53. So, system will access data from address 53. So, index register is 3. We have passed this command LDX 50, 50 plus 3 becomes 53. System will access data from 53 and that data will arrive in accumulator and that will be 10. So let's revise. Modes of addressing. Modes of addressing ka kya hai, Modes of addressing ka matlab hai ki hum kitne se data ko assembly language likhte hue access kar sakte hain. These are actually in the form of instructions, assembly language instructions or low level instructions. There are certain modes of addressing. First one is direct. Direct addressing means whatever the address that is given, go to that address and bring in the data. And whenever the data is fetched, it is brought in the microprocessor from the memory, it always reaches out to accumulator. It is always stored in accumulator. So, direct addressing LDD, load direct. So, if I write load direct 51, so system will go to address 51 and bring in the content which is actually 9 and that content will go to what? Accumulator. So, LDD 51 goes to, system goes to address 51, 9 and brings in 9. Alright, then system has another command called indirect addressing. Sometimes it becomes uh, difficult that we access to an address because that address is out of the range. Why it is out of the range? Because when we write a command, the number of bits which are available are not actually completely available for the addressing. Address cannot be written in complete number of bits. Let's say if our system is 32 bits, then the system does 32 bits ko, jo hai, wo convert to the command, ke liye, instruction and address. Ke liye. So, in the division, hai, wo hoti hai, ratio is 5 to 3. So, 32 bit ke systems may yoga 20 and 12, 64 bit ke system may yoga 40 and 24, whatever. So, what is bus width? Bus width or the word size is actually the number of wires available in address bus, number of wires available in data bus, and the amount of bits that we can hold in the register. Obviously, the data bus pay data aiga wohi aap address, which is kinder jo aapka memory data register ka usme aap rakhenge. So, आपके पास जो register है उसके अंदर आपके पास let's say 32 bit का system है तो 20 bits जो है वो upload के लिए और बाकी जो 12 bits है वो operate के लिए अब आप जो maximum address access कर सकते हैं वो 12 bits नहीं कर सकते 12 bits से आप ज़्यादा का नहीं कर सकते but what if your data is placed somewhere beyond 12 bits so what we do के any 12 bits के बीच में जो हमारे पास available addresses होते हैं जो हमारे पास available addresses होते हैं हम उन्हीं address में उन्हीं जगहों पे कहीं पर actual data जो है वो Access करने के लिए उसका address place कर देते हैं। तो let's say मैंने आपको ये example एक बताई। कि हमारे पास ये main memory है, this is of 4 GB। We have data at somewhere 3.2 GB, but we cannot access this 3.2 GB directly because we can access only 2 to power 12 4096 addresses directly. So what we do? जो हम 4096 जो है, इनमें से किसी एक address के ऊपर 3.2 GB का address रख देंगे और हम उसको access करेंगे। LDI 51 since we are having the data there only, no, no instruction, we are having all 32 bits available. So in 32 bits, we can keep 3.2 ka address in the same way. The system will go here, 51, will take the actual address from the address, and will get the data from the address. For this, I have told you this. Indirect, you will have the programs, they will be small programs. In that way, you will see that you are indirect. 
तो उसमें सिंपली व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू सी इफ इट इज इनडायरेक्ट इट मींस दैट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सेस द डेटा डायरेक्टली रादर यू वुड हैव टू एक्चुअली गो टू दिस एड्रेस फाइंड व्हाट इज सेव्ड एट दैट एड्रेस दिस इज व्हाट इज सेव्ड इज नॉट द डेटा रादर इट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द डेटा देन यू विल गो टू दैट एड्रेस एंड ब्रिंग इन द डेटा दिस इज सिंपल टेक्निकली question may come that why do we use indirect addressing in that case you would have to describe it otherwise if it is for trace it would be very simple that whatever the address that is given with indirect you will have to go to that address find what is at that particular address saved so you will pick that up go to that address and bring in the data okay so indirect actually makes you access the complete memory then we have got immediate immediate addressing <coughs> immediate addressing in immediate addressing we don't have any address rather in operand part we place the value itself and how do we differentiate a value from the address by putting hash in front of it so if you have got a value that you want to save at a particular uh, that you want to save in accumulator all you have to do is to write that value and put a hash sign there but the command is ldm ldm means load immediate so ldm load immediate ldm 7 means load 7 to the accumulator that is very simple there is no address memory address involved and then we have got index address it uses index register the role of index register is to help the system to access memory addresses in a loop in a series without writing so many commands all right so what basically happens when we write ldx means we are going to use index register the abbreviation of index register is ix so let's say we write command ldx50 that means that this 50 is a base address that 50 will be added to the content of index register which is called offset So 50 plus 4 becomes 54, and that is the final address. So let's say I've got this memory which has got addresses 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. All right, so 54 and 55. So basically, uh, what will happen? Let's say I have written this command LDX 50, and the content of index register is 3. So 50 plus 3 becomes 53. So system will go to 53 and bring in 10 to the accumulator. So that's about it. There are uh, one or two more addressing techniques, but you have to first understand all these basic four addressing techniques. Two more, relative and other, we will discuss about it. So, यहाँ पर हमें बेटे ये पता चला कि जब हम tracing कर रहे होंगे programs की, तो हमें देखना होगा कि data कैसे pick किया गया, direct pick किया गया है, indirect pick किया गया है, index करके pick किया गया है, या data memory से pick किया गया है, अगर एक value दी गई है, इसको हम immediate कहते हैं और उस बात को हम later में save किया गया है। तो ये है। अच्छा, अब कोई question हो तो please मुझे बताइए।